Good morning, guys. Today is a big day. <laughs> the Wong household. Um, I am uh, starting a an assistant. Um, she is actually a, a, the daughter of a friend here, and um, she figured she'd come over today and uh, just spend a few hours with me. Um, I have her cleaning makeup brushes. <laughs> So I'm gonna have clean makeup brushes when I'm filming for once. <laughs> um, but we're gonna take a break from that soon and probably go over to the UPS store um, where I ship my packages and where I get packages delivered. And um, she's gonna do that for me whenever she can. Um, but she's only gonna be here, you know, a few hours a week, nothing too crazy, um, but just something, you know, for her to do. Um, some someone to help me out and yeah we thought this would be like a nice like help each other out situation that is what is going on today i've never had an assistant or someone like work for me before <laughs> ever so this is very interesting i told her to just ask me questions ask me as many questions as she needs to so yes i'm excited though after she leaves her name is bella after bella leaves um, like I said, she's only going to be here for a couple of hours. After she leaves, I did want to do a little bit of shopping for Thanksgiving in terms of just kind of dressing up my table. So as you guys know, I just got this dining table and yeah, it's pretty plain. <laughs> I put my uh, Nest holiday candle there and I ended up getting the large one, the one I was going to get during the Sephora sale, but ended up getting that smaller one. And, you know, while that's perfectly fine, um, I ended up getting and ordering the um, larger one, the $250 one from the Nest site because they were having 25% off. And I thought that would actually look better on the table just proportionately. I think this one looks a little bit too small. So I'm excited to get that. That hasn't arrived yet, uh, but I'm really excited for that. And I don't know what's going to still be in stock for, you know, Thanksgiving decor since it's tomorrow. <laughs> but I thought I would just try and pick up some stuff for, you know, a, just something, something festive. I, I don't even know. I think my husband and I may go out for dinner tonight. We usually try and have like a date night once a week. And um, it's ridiculous to say that because it's just the two of us. And anytime we go out, it's kind of like a date night. But we try and make sure that we have like a designated date night every week. And I think we're gonna do that tonight instead of this Friday since it's like a holiday weekend and I don't know what's gonna be happening. Um, so we're gonna do that tonight, I believe. I think we're gonna go out for Korean barbecue. Uh, that's it. That's, that's the big plan. Oh, and we were gonna start watching Hellbound, which is apparently the hot new show on Netflix. So it's overtaken Squid Game as like the number one breakout show. It's another show from I believe South Korea, and it's kind of like a horror fantasy show. Anyway, I'm really excited. So yeah, those are my big plans for Thanksgiving Eve. You guys, <laughs> my assistant just left. So she spent three hours with me and, um, you know, I, we just talked a little bit or whatever, but I just had her clean makeup brushes. Look at this beautiful sight. And look at this amazing job she did. I don't even think I get my white bristled brushes quite so white. Oh my God. And I kept checking in on her like every half hour. I was like, are you okay? Do you want to do something else? She was like, no, She's she found it kind of calming. So, so, so far so good. Uh, I have a part-time, a very part-time assistant. We're gonna um, meet up again in like two or three weekends, you know, cause she's still in school or whatever. So we're just gonna do weekends to start. She said she could do weekday nights, but I also don't wanna, I don't wanna like infringe on like homework time and all that kind of stuff, but uh, we'll see. Now um, I am gonna go to Pottery Barn and Williams Sonoma. I think that's it in this little shopping mall. I'm gonna go there and see if I can get any pretty stuff for the dining table and then um yeah and then that's it and then my husband and I are gonna grab some dinner well a very early dinner very late lunch um and then we're gonna have to pick up butters from school so that's pretty much the loose plan for the rest of the day <music>
yesterday. I don't think I vlogged after vlogging some dinner shots. I got that lobster. It was so good. So, so good. I'm like, is there any other food other than like shellfish where you're allowed to just dip it in straight on melted butter? <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. That was delicious. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys uh, what I got at Williams Sonoma. It is Thanksgiving today. Uh, so I got some basically some table linens. Um, that was all they had uh, at Pottery Barn and at Williams Sonoma. They were just, Thanksgiving was dead to them. <laughs> they moved on to Christmas. So everything that they had out, plates, linens, little food, yummies, everything was just like red and green and yeah, just Christmas uh, themed. So I picked out some fall Thanksgiving uh, color themed things um well let me just show you okay so i basically started with this tablecloth because i just thought it was so so pretty so it's called the acorn harvest jacquard tablecloth and uh, this was the biggest size that they had and since my table is 108 inches i thought this was fine there isn't going to be that much um hangover at the ends of the tables, but I, I figure that's fine. Um, and then they didn't have the matching napkins. Um, so I ended up getting these dark gray ones, which actually go pretty nicely. And I figured I could use this all year round a little bit more comfortably. So these are the fringe dinner napkins set of four so i got two sets of those and then i got some napkin rings and i just got the marble honeycomb napkin rings because i have as you guys know i have the coasters and i have the hard placemats for this set but i thought that this would look nice together anyway and i do have some other napkin rings i could use but i was like you know what i wanted these anyway so i grabbed them so Thanksgiving is going to be pretty quiet here. My mom is coming over. Did I ever tell you this? My mom is coming over um, and we're just going to be ordering some Chinese takeout. So that's it. It's just going to be the three of us. Um, and then over the weekend, I may have uh, my friend and her parents over uh, just for like a quick meal, just to say hi. Um, you know, over the holidays, it's nice to just get in touch with everyone. So we're going to be doing that over the weekend. That's the main reason why I wanted to get some festive uh, tableware because, um, yeah, because they're coming over. Like my mom couldn't care less, <laughs> but I figured, uh, let me get something for the guests later on in the weekend. Um, that's it. So I should, well, I'm gonna unpack this tablecloth right now. Um, and I should probably bring my steamer down to steam out the creases. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it out. And like I said, my mom really doesn't care. So I'm gonna lay this out and hopefully by the time my friend and her parents come over, <laughs> it'll be a little flatter. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and spread out this tablecloth. for now <laughs> I'm gonna have to put out bring out the coasters and um, the plates and stuff I'm I'm looking at the creases in this tablecloth and I think I'm gonna have to bring the steamer down because it's not even it's not even that they're unsightly but it's preventing the tablecloth from like actually laying like flat I don't know I'll give it some time I'll let it rest and breathe um, for the rest of today but my mom is actually gonna be here in the afternoon she doesn't like to drive around in the dark I can't blame her. Um, so she's gonna be here in the afternoon. So we're basically gonna have a Thanksgiving lunch, which is fine by me. I really hate eating a lot, like late in the day. So this will give us like all night to kind of digest everything. So I just wanted to give you a shot of the tablecloth because I think it's so pretty. I really, really love it. I love the like 
leafy, viney border and design, and I love the colors. I love the dark taupey gray. It just goes really, really well. Um, and the orange, obviously, just makes it so fall-like. Oh, and I spread out our six chairs. So um, we're still waiting for our end chairs to come, the one with the arms. But since it's gonna be the three of us, I figured if we sat in this configuration, it was just a little bit more conducive to conversation and we can all see each other. So I just spread out the six chairs that we had. Someone's enjoying your Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> well, I gave her a little extra for breakfast. Right, buddies? And then I'll give her a little extra for dinner too. Also, did I show you guys? I don't think I did. I got this Era Home uh, like scent diffuser, basically. It's like an air freshener, uh, plug-in air freshener. And I got it and put it in uh, Miss Butter's laundry room here because this is where we have her wee wee pad, which she's been using a lot less because now she likes to go out into the backyard. Um, but also her food and stuff. It just, you know, it has pet odor and I thought that plug-in um, like scent diffuser would be nice. I got a, I'll, I'll leave everything down below the description box, but I got some sort of holiday scent that they had. Um, you just stick like the little cartridge in, it's actually really easy. So that's a little cartridge that you stick in there and then this is the strength of um, the scent basically. It'll diffuse more like the higher up you have. So I just have it on, I think level two. And there's actually an app where you can control uh, the strength of the fragrance and also um, you can schedule like time. You can have it like auto turn on and auto shut off whenever you want on specific days. So. I thought that was really nice and that'll save you like some of the the actual fragrance so it's not just going all the time so i just have it set from like 8 a.m to 6 p.m basically like when she's when she's down here when the butters is down here hello guys oh my god i am such a mess i just poor time management this morning um so it's 1 20. we just ran to pick up uh the chinese food my mom's supposed to be here at around two and I started to kind of plate stuff, put stuff into bowls if I need to microwave them and heat them up again. And I was like, oh my God, I'm vlogging. So let me show you uh, what we got. I got way too much food for three people. I'm always ordering food and cooking food for like 12. That's always, I don't know why I feel like that's the right number in my head. Anyway, we'll have plenty of leftovers. So we got some Chinese broccoli. We got some green beans with minced pork. We got some salt and pepper shrimp. We got some soupy buns, some scallion pancakes. This is the smallest portion of scallion pancakes I have ever seen. That is literally one pancake cut into four pieces. I feel like whenever I've ordered scallion pancakes in the past, it's like 12, <laughs> 12 pieces. Anyway, I was a little surprised. I think I probably would have ordered more because I think my husband can eat this whole thing. And then we got um, pot stickers. And this is ma po tofu. So that's a uh, like a tofu dish. And it's really spicy and it has pork in there as well. And then the piece de resistance is the roast duck. So I was debating between a half duck and whole duck. I figured why not, let's just get a whole duck. <laughs> And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, that's a lot of duck. That is our Thanksgiving feast. So I'm going to, um, you know, put all of the stuff into nicer plates and everything. Um, and then nuke the stuff uh, once my mom gets here. I wonder, there's some things like the salt and pepper shrimp. It's like breaded and fried and nuking that is just not a good idea. So I think I may actually throw that into the toaster oven to reheat just to keep the outside like a little bit crispy. morning. It is the day after Thanksgiving. This holiday, I think because it falls on a Thursday, it just screws me up. I woke up and I was like, it's Monday. No, nope. Saturday. No, nope. <laughs> I couldn't get myself together. Anyway, it is the day after Thanksgiving. It is Friday. Ugh. So I um, am expecting a bunch of packages. I've received a bunch of PR packages uh, over the past week that I would love to open with you guys. And 
I also wanted to sit down and just talk about Mishmas, which is my version of Vlogmas. Uh, many of you have been asking me whether or not I'm going to be doing Mishmas or whether or not I'm, I'm participating in Vlogmas. So I did want to sit down and talk about that a little bit. Um, but that's it. Right now I need, I need so much coffee. My, my head is kind of pounding. We had uh, like basically a, a very late lunch or a very early dinner actually. My mom came over at like 2 yesterday. We sat and we ate. I showed you all that food that we had. We have so many leftovers. She brought home a lot of it and we still had a lot left over. But anyway, um, I pretty much just ate the duck. I was pretty good, but I did sneak in some um, of the veggies. I, I just woke up with the worst headache ever. I don't, I don't even know if it's like food related, but I, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't drink enough water or whatever, but I have a raging headache. So I am going to drink some coffee, drink some water, and hopefully it'll go away. Um, but yeah, I do need to, <laughs> please tell me everyone looks crazy the day after Thanksgiving. Um, I need to like shower, get myself together. Maybe we'll do a little quick get ready with me. Um, and I'm trying to figure out if I should film anything today, any kind of sit down video, uh, because I am gearing up for Mishmas. I'm wondering if I should just do prep and like do some stuff to get ready for that. So anyway, that's the day, just a day around the house. Um, but yeah, let me grab some coffee. And uh, once I get like the other packages, I'm waiting for the UPS store to kind of warm up. <laughs> once I get my other packages, I will come back and I will show you everything that I've gotten. Um, a lot of things I've ordered for Mishmas that I would like to show you guys. So yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, I finally showered. <laughs> and now I am getting ready. Uh, my husband was kind enough to pick up the packages that I had at the UPS store. So I do have a few PR packages to share with you in a bit, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little get ready with me right now. So I'm gonna start with the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. I mentioned this in my favorites and I've been really, really enjoying this. So I'm just gonna spread a little bit on. Such a beautiful glow, mm, incredible. All right, well, we're not gonna do anything crazy because I'm not really doing anything today. I just wanted to put a little something on. It's getting to that point in the season where I'm not like, you know, just losing my tan a little bit, losing my summer glow. I'm starting to look like ill, <laughs> like deathly pale. So just wanted to put on a little something. Um, let's see, what should I do next? My lips are actually dry, so I'm gonna put on some of this Make Beauty Serum Balm. I'm gonna put on the Halo Moon. It's just, oh, so nice. Mm -mm -mm. I think that Thanksgiving dinner that I had last night was really salty because my lips have actually been pretty good, but when I woke up this morning, they were not pretty good. They were really, they felt really um, just super chapped, super, super chapped, so. Mm, these are so good. Okay, let's uh, put on some cheek products. That'll definitely make me feel a lot better. I'm using the Natasha Denona uh, Glow Face Palette in light. I'm just gonna pick up some of this blush with my uh, Refer cheek brush here. And just apply a little bit or a lot of it. <laughs> then just going to apply some of the highlight. I'm gonna use some of the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. You know, for eyes, I've been enjoying these Guerlain Mad Eyes um, Contrast Shadow Duo. They're cream shadow sticks. I didn't mention these in my favorites and I really should have. But they came out with two duos. One is basically like a cool tone one. It's like silvery gray. And one is, um, it's got that kind of brownish plum. And then the other side is uh, like a really pretty peachy kind of gold. I think I'm gonna use this all over my lid. Really pretty, really easy. And they, do stay on for quite some time. They're very long lasting. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna use this mascara. I've not used this in a really long time. This is the Lancome 
um, like Lashy Doll mascara and I really like it but yeah I just I never reach for it and I do like it so why not but yeah look how pretty my lashes look like a little fluttery all right I think that's all I'm gonna do since I'm pretty much just gonna be in the house uh, I think that's plenty so yeah let's go hit those PR packages such a pretty day out today it's cold out but it's it's really beautiful out Blue skies and everything. Okay, I guess I'll just stand right here. I'm at my wet bar. Hold on, I gotta lift you guys up a little bit. Ooh. Everything's so crooked, hold on. <laughs> it's like the YouTuber issue. Am I crooked? Do I look orange? Um, wow, all right, where do I start? Well, I've opened up some already. Okay, I know exactly where to start actually. So a friend of mine here, on YouTube. She started following me. Anyway, we've become friendly and she sends me, like she's such an angel, she sends me some new releases every once in a while. So she sent me this Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Lava Luster. This is one of those just real different um, eyeshadow quads that Tom Ford comes out with like every once in a while. So this is in an ombre packaging and and when I say every once in a while, I mean every once in a while he just goes off the beaten path. And this is one of them. But this formula is supposed to be brand new. These are all supposed to be like super high shine, glittery shades. So let's swatch these. I haven't swatched them yet. I've been waiting to do it with you guys. They all look like topper shades, but I'm hoping they have a little bit more base to them. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Super creamy. That's the first one. Ooh, can you guys see that? And sorry, you're sitting on top of my ice maker, which is so loud. But anyway, that's the first one. Ooh, cool. Well, they're swatching really well. You know, that's exactly what these are. These are more highly denser, more highly pigmented, denser, like topper shades because they're not very translucent at all. Ooh, look at these, so shiny. Ooh, they look kind of wet. Ooh, love it. All right, well, I'll be using this in a try new makeup very, very soon. I don't even know when this is coming. I've only seen like some random pictures on Instagram of this quad, but I really have not heard any news or anything. So we'll let you guys know for sure as soon as I know. Um, but that is the Lava Luster quad. And then I got this adorable backpack from Papa and Barkley. Um, they've been sending me things. They're so sweet. They've been sending me things on a pretty regular basis and they are a CBD company. And let me just show you. So in here, oh, they sent some stickers and then like a little info booklet, shop our holiday gift sets. So they do have gift sets. And let's see, we believe in giving back for the entire month of November. We are donating 10% of sales on PapaAndBarkleyCBD.com to Last Prisoner Project uh, Realm of Caring and 1% for the planet. So there's the info there, PapaAndBarkleyCBD.com. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if this video is gonna go up in November. I hope so. I just don't know. I don't, my, I don't know my schedule anymore. Um, here is the Bliss set. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I still have, they've sent me the Relief Balm and these drops. And I, I, you know, I've only used them maybe like a handful of times just because I have so much stuff. So I'm going to leave this in the set. I'll put this into a future giveaway. And then this, what's this? Oh, it's a Papa and Barkley thermos. It's really heavy though. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, it's like double walled and everything. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so, so much, Papa and Barkley. This is really, really sweet. And then, let's see. This is something from a PR company. Oh wait. Oh, oh, J-Lo Beauty, okay, let's see, let's see what this is about. Beauty has no expiration date. To be youthful and timeless at every age, you deserve skincare that works as hard as you do. J-Lo, all right, well, if this is gonna make me look like J-Lo, I'll be very excited. So there she is. It's a very cool looking bag. And there are, looks like five products in here. Here's the gel cream cleanser. Here is, oh, this packaging is really nice. Here's the Wonder Cream Cream Miracle. 
Here is SPF 30 sunscreen. Here is the uh, Titan Brighten Serum. Here's the eye cream. And then, oh, I didn't realize she had a mask. Here is a face mask. Wow, this is super cool. Super duper cool. I don't know if this actually comes as a set or if they just sent it to me like this, but um, it's like broken out into steps for you. Step one through five. Thank you so much, JLo Beauty. I, you know, I've heard a lot about this. I think when she first launched, I think people were really excited. Um, so I'm excited to try this stuff. Thank you so much. And then I got something from BK Beauty. What? I'm so excited because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what this is and I am dying for this. Yes. Oh my gosh. So Lisa J just came out with a travel brush set along with this case. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I am so into like sets and cases. I don't know. I don't know what that is about me, but look at how beautiful this is. Oh my God. I love it so much. And here are the brushes inside. So there are five brushes in here. So two face brushes, three um, eye brushes, and you guys, my favorite favorite BK Beauty, well, one of my favorite BK Beauty brushes and one of my favorite foundation brushes, the 101 brush. So her brushes are basically like full size. They just have a little bit of a smaller handle. I mean, they're not even like too stubby. This actually, I think for some companies is like a full size brush. And I really appreciate that. I mean, you know, I get it. Travel size brushes should be like mini and small and like portable, but Sometimes they're just hard to hold. <laughs> the handles are too short. Just don't like it. So this, yeah, these are great. Oh yes, awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. So then we have the 107 powder brush. And then the three eye brushes we have are 203, 202, and 207. So we've got like a blender, a shader, and then like a smudger type brush. This is so awesome. And look at this beautiful case. So this is the inside. So we've got like an elasticized pocket over here and then a netted pocket over here. If you guys have been waiting to get onto the BK Beauty train, now is a good time. Now is a really, really good time. This case is, oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Wow, the color's perfect and everything. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, BK Beauty. And a big congratulations on this new release. Oh, so beautiful. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to go somewhere. <laughs> and then, what is this? Oh, okay, this is a PR. This is something I bought for myself. So, um, if you guys watch my vlogs, you know I went to the eye doctor and got a new prescription for my contacts. And I finally got to the point where I, I couldn't really see far away that well, and I couldn't really see up close that well either. Both were, okay and i told my doctor finally i was like look i want to be able to see far away like i was always kind of squinting at the television or when i'm driving which is not great like i'm squinting at the street signs so she said okay if we fix that though you're not going to be able to see close and i was like I, you know it's going to happen it's time so that's what we did we fixed my distance vision but now you know it, it's okay like i can just pull my phone away and it's it's fine but like I, where was, oh, I was out to dinner and the menu printing was really, really small and it was dark in there. And I was like, I cannot, like, I can't see this at all to save my life. So I ordered readers. So I ordered two pairs of readers from Look Optic. I'll link them down below if you're interested. And I just got the one magnification. I figured I'd just start there. But I did get two pairs because I feel like that is the advice I always get from my friends who use readers. They're like, just get a bunch of pairs because you're going to need in the car, you're going to need one in your purse, you're going to need one in your office, blah, blah, blah. So, um, is there a name to this? Oh, this one is Liam in black. This is what Liam looks like. And the site is great because they have like a measurement for um, all the like dimensions of the glasses. And I have a really wide face, so I was particularly interested in like the overall width of the frames. And this one seemed really wide. Oh yeah, oh, I can't look at you guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think these look decent. Let me hold up my phone. Oh, this is much better. 
Yeah, this is good. This is okay. I can't look at you guys though. <laughs> so that's one pair that I got. Liam, they're really light, which is great. Oh, and it comes with this case, this little felt case. Fear not the fine print. Lookoptic.com. Neat. All right, let me tuck these in here. Keep that in my purse. And then the other pair that I got, I think, oh yeah, these are um, like a faux tortoise and the style name is Laurel. Laurel looks like. And these have that, like they, they can bend outward, which is really nice. So here are the laurels. Oh, nice. Well, I'm only gonna use them for reading, so no big deal, but they're light and they're comfortable and they definitely help, <laughs> so that's good. And this came with a case also. And then I got a nice box from Laura Mercier. They always include a really beautiful card. So, we are thrilled to share with you a selection of limited edition sets from our Grand Ball Holiday Collection. Inspired by the glimmer of Parisian nights, our flawless holiday sets are the perfect gift for every face. All right, so the first one is Set for Perfection, Translucent Loose Setting Powder and Puff. So cute. So this is a $55 value, the gift is $39. And then they sent this big box over, which I think has more gift sets in here, let's see. Ooh, so Shimmer Glow Caviar Stick Trio. Uh, they don't have any pricing on this one. Oh, actually, this is probably more informative. So Trio of Caviar Sticks. Okay, so the Caviar Sticks, $29 for that set. And then, ah, Stroke of Midnight Brush Collection. Yes, digging the brush collection. So this is $170 value for $78 for this brush set. Comes with um, a pretty case. Let's open up. Ooh, wow. It looks like um, a wallet. We've got the cases inside. Ooh, so pretty. A little bit more compact than the BK Beauty, for sure. So this is probably better for a purse or something or a night out or a weekend out. Thank you to Laura Mercier. So, so exciting. And then I got a lovely package from Erin. They have lovely fragrances and you guys know how <laughs> how i've gotten into fragrances over the past year or so let's see i am excited to introduce uh, my newest fragrance erin cedar violet i tried this wait a second i tried this hold on let me look at it let me see. yes i tried this fragrance it smells wonderful but it didn't last that long on me. I'm gonna have to try it again. And you know, they actually sent me um, the perfume along with the body cream. So if I'm really into the actual fragrance, if I layer it, I bet it'll last uh, longer. I don't quite remember what it smells like though, although I'm guessing the name kind of says it all. The <laughs> Cedar Violet. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. I love her bottles because they always have this like stone-like cap at the top. So pretty. Yes, I love it. It's kind of unisex, which I really like, but there's, because of that cedar, that woodsy scent, it's very, to me, it's very like winter friendly. Mm, so, so pretty. Wow, thank you so much, Erin. They actually sent another box. I don't know what's in there. Let's open this up. Look at this big, beautiful box with this green ribbon. I love this velvet ribbon. so adorable. So this is all paper, I'm sure you guys can tell, but it's really just, it's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's a little tag here saying it's a, it's a violet. Oh, and this like terracotta pot is so, so sweet. Wow. Thank you so much, Erin. This is really adorable. And Thank you for the actual perfume as I gush over the paper flowers, but this is really sweet. Thank you so much. All right, and then I got something from, it looks like Paracone MD. Oh, wow. So they have a whole hypoallergenic CBD sensitive skin therapy line. Oh, cool. Wait, did I know that they had this line? Okay, so these pro we are so excited to share the latest launch joining the hypoallerge hypoallergenic Wow, CBD sensitive skin therapy collection. I think I did know that they had a CBD line, but I didn't know that it was like for sensitive skin or just 
I just forgot. Anyway, so they have a gentle cleanser, an ultra smooth clean shave cream, a rebalancing elixir, a soothing and hydrating eye cream, and a nourishing and calming moisturizer. And Espa, 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 a soothing aromatic candle. Very small like, very, very small like. It's living up to its, its name here. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and then I got this incredible, incredible box from this brand that's caught my eye. I think I saw them on Nordstrom, um, Irene Forte. And they sent over their regenerating facial routine. It has six essentials. And let me see if there's any verbiage about this brand. Well, they're a very eco-conscious brand. I'll read to you what it says on the inside of the lid here. It says, bringing you natural products with extraordinary benefits, harnessing nature through scientific insight, avoiding harm to the environment, growing our own ingredients, supporting farmers and artisans in our local community, and leaving the world a better place. This is the box they sent over. So it includes the almond cleansing milk, the helichrysum toner, pistachio face mask, hibiscus serum, prickly pear face cream, and hibiscus night cream. I'm very, very excited. I am always testing out a bunch of stuff, but I am currently testing out some things, so I will leave this for when I'm done because I really wanna put this stuff to the test. It looks incredible, incredible. Thank you so much, Irene, Irene Forte for sending this over. This is really, really, it's a beautiful package and I'm really excited to try these products. And then I got a fragile package from Innisfree. Hey, it looks like they have some holiday sets. So, <laughs> look how cute this is. Green holidays. So this one is the Winter Mask Wonders. It includes the Volcanic Pore Clay Mask, uh, full size, pore clearing toner, an intensive hydrating cream with green tea. This is a $27 value. This gift is $20. And this is the Cheers with Green Tea set. This one is $29. It's a $40 value, and it has the intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed, intensive hydrating toner with green tea seed, and intensive hydrating cream with green tea seed. So cute. They included some stickers. We love stickers. By the way, the artist is Steve Harrington. I don't know if you guys caught that script lettering, but that's the artist of these like cool little characters. Steve Harrington. Stephen Harrington, excuse me. Oh, they sent over two glasses. So cute. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. So it's the same little characters. Oh, it says Innisfree and Green Holidays on the back there. I don't think you guys can see it, sorry. Oh, there's a different character on this one. It's basically the two from the set. So it's this guy who's like lounging. Oh, awesome. So this whole um, campaign, so an easy hashtag gift green guide for glowing skin this season. Each set is wrapped in an eco-friendly FSC certified paper carton and printed with soy ink. Bring the holiday spirit to TikTok. I'm not really on TikTok. Using the viral hashtag, hashtag gift green, sharing which Innisfree holiday sets you'll be gifting this year. Wow, thank you so much Innisfree. And then Charlotte Tilbury sent me some stuff as kind of a reminder of their like holiday shop. So she has, some markdowns. She has a bunch of bundles. That's, I think, where you're going to find the best savings. And um, I know one of the bundles is three of these Eyes to Mesmerize cream shadows. So she sent me a whole bunch of shades that I don't think I have. So I have Star Gold. Hold on, let me just pull this up. So I, I'm pretty sure I have Star Gold, but I don't think I have these other three, like Champagne, I don't think I have from her, Chocolate Browns, and Oyster Pearl. I don't think I have. Um, I'm really excited. You guys know how much I love a cream shadow, especially the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I love that moussey texture. Um, so I know that that is one set that they're having and they're all marked down. Like if you get all three in a bundle, it's like 30 or 40% off. 
Um, and then she also sent the Legendary Lashes Volume 2, her Rock and Coal Eyeliner, and Matte Revolution Lipstick in Patsy Red. I believe these three come in a set as well. It's like a an eye and lip look situation. Anyway, so, so amazing. Thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury, for sending over more of your goodies. I love it. I don't have Patsy Red, so um, I can always use another red lipstick. And then something I purchased myself came in, and I'm so excited to try these, but I ordered the two new Smoke Reflex from Auric. So here they are. And um, if you've gotten this far into the video, <laughs> let me know if you would rather see me use these two guys or the Tom Ford quad, like, first. What, what are you more anxious to see? So one of these smoke reflex shades is called Entice. Entice, I believe, is the one with green. Yeah, it's like this greenish, it's like a, like a really deep kind of seaweed green with gold in there. And then the powder shadow that comes on top is like a white crystally shadow. So pretty, I'm so excited to try that. And then the other one is Disrupt, which has like a reddish cranberry tone to it. So it's like this perfect holiday pairing, these two shades. Yeah, here is Disrupt. Oh my God, is that not gorgeous? So pretty. And then I forget what the powder shadow on top, I think it's the same, same-ish. Oh no. Oh no, not, a, not even close, Michelle. It's like a pinky gold duochrome. Wow, <gasps> I can't wait to play with these. Okay, let me know down below in the comment section, Auric or Tom Ford. I'll end up doing both for sure, but I just wanna know what you guys are more anxious to see. All right, so um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am planning on doing Mishmas this year and I've done it two years um, already. So this will be my third year doing Mishmas and Mishmas is my version of Vlogmas. And what Vlogmas is, if you don't know, is when um, content creators are pretty much on YouTube because it's centered around vlogging, but obviously that can happen on different platforms. But um, mostly YouTube um, creators do this and what they do is they'll vlog every single day in December or they'll vlog, um, they'll put up a vlog every weekday they'll put up a vlog you know from the first day through the 25th day like you know everyone kind of does their own version of vlogmas so what i've done in the past is i've posted um, i think the first year i did it i did all sit down videos i wasn't really vlogging that much um so they were all just sort of sit down videos and i did all 31 days of december i thought let's just let's just do it <laughs> let's just go for it and that year was especially difficult because i took a vacation that year so I had to pre-film like 10 videos before I left, um, but got through it. It was great. It was, um, well, was it great? I don't know. It was, <laughs> it's a challenge. I feel like it's turned into a challenge. Like YouTubers now are like, am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it, let's do it. You know, it's, it's, it's turned into this whole thing. So anyway, last year when I did it, um, again, I did, you know, 31 days, but I did more of a mixture between vlogging and sit down videos and, that's what I'm gonna do this year as well. And, um, you know, last year was, was really tough too because I launched my luxury accessories line during that month. The, <laughs> the wraps that I launched with were supposed to come like in October, but because of everything that was going on, you know, especially at the end of 2020, it was just a mess. And so I ended up launching in December and that was crazy. That was really, really crazy um, trying to do both. but got it done. <laughs> We're back. We're here doing it again. Um, I don't, I don't have any vacations planned. Uh, I don't have any, uh, well, that's a lie. Um, I do have a launch, um, that I'm planning and I, I don't think it's going to be quite as chaotic as launching for the very first time. So anyway, that's not going to be a big deal. And this year I'm doing 25 days. So I'm not going to do all 31 days. I'm going to do 25 days of Vlogmas, and I'm gonna take the last week of December off. Um, but I wanted to give you an idea of what to expect um, outside of just letting you know that it's 25 days and I'm gonna be doing sit down and vlogs because I've talked about this a little bit. Um, but last year what I did was I donated um, some of my uh, sponsorship money 
um, that I was doing in December. And so I've decided this year I'm going to be donating um, sponsorship money from the last quarter. So the sponsorships that I've been doing October, November, and December, um, I'm going to be donating a portion of it to the Rolling Dog Farm. And that is the charity that I donated to last year. They are a wonderful, amazing charity. They're based in uh, New Hampshire and they um, basically take in handicapped dogs and they're just yeah they're just really wonderful so I am my goal this year is to more than double what I donated last year and we'll get more into that and I'll uh, let you know and you know we'll talk about it more uh, once I actually make my donation um, but that's my goal that's my goal and yeah i'm really i'm really excited i'm really really excited so that's uh, definitely one thing we're going to be doing this mishmas um last mishmas i did a lot of giveaways and i think what i want to do this year is do less giveaways but bigger ones um so we're also going to be throwing that in as well um and usually i just you know i'll go out and i'll buy some makeup or i'll um include you know makeup that i'm not going to use or that i have um multiples of um, things that I've got in PR. I'll include that in the giveaway. But what I would like to do this year, and we'll see, but what I'd like to do this year is actually go out and buy like a gift for one of you, like a really nice big gift for one of you. But inventory has been really low at these luxury stores. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but I think I can find something. So um, I, again, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you know um, further on into the month. But anyway, I'll let you know details once I actually get my hands on something and uh, once we get further into this month. But yeah, I think I wanted to do something just, you know, a little bit different and a little bit more exciting. And then the last thing I wanted to let you know what to expect for Mishmas um, is I'm going to be opening up some advent calendars. So, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers, they'll order these advent calendars and they'll open it all up for you, just so you guys can see whether or not you want to um, purchase them or whatever. I like to keep them a surprise. So I purchased five, I'm sorry, I purchased four different advent calendars and then one was sent to me in PR. So we're gonna be going through five advent calendars. So the first one we're gonna be going through, <laughs> this one is so goofy, but I found this at Costco. It's for Miss Butters. So Miss Butters is my dog, um, and I just thought this was so cute. So she will go through these toys in like 0.2 seconds because she just tears toys apart. And then as far as the treats are concerned, I'm gonna have to look at the um, like nutrition facts here to see if I can actually give them to her because she's had issues with pancreatitis and I don't wanna set them off again. So I can't give her anything with too much fat too much fat content. So if it's anything in here that has too much fat content, I'll just substitute with one of her healthy treats um, or pancreatitis friendly treats. I'll just substitute it for her. But I thought this would be really fun. And she she somehow knows like when a gift is for her because we come home with bags all the time, groceries or whatever. But if I come home with a bag full of like, I don't know, like a dog toy, she knows. She just like, she'll jump off the couch and like come right at me and I'm like, you have a toy in here, how did you know? And she sits and she gets all excited. So anyway, I had to get this for her when I saw that. Okay, I just had to unpack, unpack all these advent calendars because they're in really big boxes. Anyway, so the other one that I got, which is not beauty related, is a coffee one. I really wanted to try a coffee advent calendar because there's so many like food related ones and I, you know, I'm, I don't eat chocolate and the sweets and all of that stuff. So I was like, what could I get that would be really fun for me? And you guys know I'm like a coffee-holic. So I ordered this from Yawn Brew off of Etsy. And I think they're actually based in the UK. And then I got to pick, it's all coming back to me because I ordered this a while ago. I got to pick like what kind. Oh, I picked French press, yes, because if I can't use my espresso machine, then I use a French press. So we're gonna have a different coffee every morning together. How exciting. Okay, and now for the three beauty related advent calendars. So I'm so excited for this. I hemmed and hawed whether or not I should get it because it's just, it's so, there's just, okay, let me just show you. This is the diptyque advent calendar and I ordered this off of Selfridges. It's really heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. Um, I ordered it off of Selfridges and I'm really excited, really, really excited. So that's what the front looks like. Let me just give you a sneak peek of what is inside here. Look, 
Look, oh my God, I'm so excited. And I think this flips open because I don't even see one and two. Yeah, this flips open, I believe. So um, we'll be setting that up together on the first day. And then I also got the Jo Malone advent calendar. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this too. This one just came. Let's see if we can, oh, look at how beautiful. So this whole lid just flips open. Oh God, this, I can't even tell you how nice this room smells right now. And then this is like a drawer that pulls open. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm really excited for all of these advent calendars. And then last but not least, Shanta Kai sent me their advent calendar. I'm so excited. This one has 12 days. So we're gonna be doing this for half of Mishmas um, and then we'll be done with it. But all the other advent calendars that I have have uh, 24 days. So that is what you can expect uh, during Mishmas. We're gonna be doing a lot of advent calendar opening um, and uh, we'll be doing some giveaways. I'll have some vlogs, I'll have some sit down videos. Uh, we're, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna have some fun. So um, I, you know, I keep trying to sit down and like create a schedule for, you know, the few days before Mishmas and then December 1st when Mishmas starts and I, I just, it keeps changing. <laughs> I can't get anything together. But uh, if I don't see you before Mishmas, I'll see you during Mishmas. <laughs>